Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today, we got a small thing going on. Uh, we're here at uh, Gibson Ring. Let's stay at uh, and Zeb Zabersky. Zaberry? The bakery. <laughs> I'll get that one. One of those is right. The bakery. <laughs> the bakery. <laughs> Anyways, we're on Gibson Ring, and uh, we're going to do a mission today that I don't really take a whole lot of. Uh, Alright, so, you, here on uh, Gibson, there is this emergency mission. And, you know, we've scrolled past a couple of these, uh, looked at a few, and basically ignored them because... We have to give another ship some kind of help. Now, luckily, for this particular ship, we only have to give one ton of hydrogen. But other ships, uh, I think in the last video, we scrolled past, or maybe uh, the one before that, we scrolled past one of these, and they wanted 200 tons of hydrogen. We've only got like 80 tons of uh, cargo space, so... It's not particularly <laughs> doable in this ship. So, I tend to ignore them. But luckily, this one, this guy, only wants uh, one ton of hydrogen fuel. So, we gas up, we get this ton of hydrogen fuel. Speaking of which, I did not see how much that was going to pay. $200, 200 credits, that's not exactly a whole lot. So, let's get out of here. So our target is DY-5160, a Canera, civilian Canera. It's not too far away, only uh, 3.56, is that megameters, I think, away? Sometimes you'll find these missions and they'll be like, okay, go to, go to planet F. F1 or uh, the first moon of uh, the last planet in the system and it's 11 AU out it's like ah oh, it's not worth the money it's not worth the time sorry I mean just kind of skip it but this guy is pretty close so he shouldn't have uh, this shouldn't be too much of a problem hopefully I don't think I've actually ever done one of these missions in space. I've done a few on the ground, which are pretty easy. You just fly to a ship that has uh, landed somewhere and we'll, we'll give them their fuel. But I've never done one in space. So this is going to be kind of interesting. So, uh, because it's in space, not something on the ground, I think we can more or less keep the uh, braking meter in the green until we get extraordinary close. So once we get uh, inside 100 kilometers, we'll... Oh. Ship detected nearby. That's probably our buddy in the Canera here. So, let's see what we can see. Still a little small to pick up visually. don't want to go too fast because I think we might fly past him and I suppose we can just fly backwards or fly back towards the ship if need be but you know, we don't want to mess anything up so we're in 
within two kilometers, so let's let's uh slow down a bit. Take this easy. Okay. Well, we can see him now. know how much thrust I can apply without flying by. So within 50 meters, okay, let's stop. Stop-ish. Make a record of your timely completion of the task. Ooh, there he goes. And he's off to wherever he wants to go. Okay. Did we get paid for that or do we have to dock? Yeah, okay, we got paid for that. Okay, that was that was pretty easy. Uh, we were at Gibson Ring, so oh wow. Everybody else is pretty far away. Uh, let's try let's take a look at what the stations are real quick. Gibson's tech level two, Jackson's tech level. Eight, Murray is tech level one. Okay, well, let's go to Jackson. Let's see what Jackson's got for us. Let's see, Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. There it is. The bakery, I, I love that name. <laughs> the bakery is an interesting system, right? Because you know it's got this uh, life-bearing planet here, and it's got three different star uh, space stations at three ground ports. Ports, so you could probably get some nice uh, in-system trading done. only problem with them is that the tech levels are kind of low. I think coal there you can see just on the planet is probably the got the highest tech level of all the, the ports in the system. I have to check the map once we're done with our approach. another thing I need to, to look up if uh, tech levels do anything besides control what equipment is available at a particular station because if they control the uh, mission the mission selection then it would probably be a good idea to mainly dock at high tech level stations but if it's just equipment then well all we gotta do is dock there's no real reason to aim for something with a high tech level unless of course we're buying equipment course right now we're just looking to dock and maybe find some new missions. So 
one's a little hard to see these things sometimes. It's always sometimes hard? No. It is sometimes hard to see these stations depending on the location they are at. Always sometimes. Because <sighs> they can blend in with the star field fairly easily. If you're approaching them from the dark side. This is a big one. Actually, a fair number of ships docked. And speaking of docking, let's get ourselves docked. Docking bay number two. Right up front, aren't we? on the button. I wonder what happened to that Canero we, we saved. can't see him. Let's see. Oh, I completely forgot the, uh, the, uh, call sign. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Well, we all just hope, we just have to hope he's made it somewhere safe. So what does uh, Jackson have for us? Let's take a look at ships real quick. There's a Canera. Cinematrix. Venture Star. This is this might be something we could work towards. Venture Star. Lots of cargo space. Deneb. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about the Deneb. And, yeah. I don't think of just stay with a skipjack until we can go for a Venture Star or a Drop Star. A Deep Space Miner, this is a big boy. And the Xylophus. This uh, not a bad ship, but you know, we don't need to downgrade from a, <laughs> a skipjack. And in terms of missions, yeah, some combat and system. Ooh, debris field. I heard about a cargo hauler that got into trouble. Needs a bakery F. The Bakery F. The Bakery F. The Bakery F is s almost six AU from the from the star. I don't think it's worth it to to go all the way out there for just some broken cargo. Combat cargo transport. Danger? Oh. An unscrupulous jewel trader wants to intercept the cargo. Three tons. Three 
three tons of diamonds. Yeah! Someone might try and jack that. Okay, that might be a good mission for next time, though. But for now, uh, that's it for today. I know this is a little one short. This is a little shorter than usual. But real life is kind of pushing its way into pioneer space. So we're going to call it a day. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye.